We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you the power and sleep mode settings that come on the operating system. So from anywhere on the desktop, just right click and choose display settings. And this will just bring up the settings page. You can get there also just by clicking on the start button and choosing settings. Uh, from here, we want to click on power and sleep. So uh, by default, it's going to be when plugged in, turn off after 10 minutes. When plugged in, PC goes to sleep after 30 minutes. So the difference is the screen and the computer itself. So you could have the screen turned off, but the computer still running in the background, uh, or, you, or vice versa. So let's just go ahead and change those settings so they both match each other. So they're both 30 minutes. Uh, I could even make it higher if I want, two hours. I could change that. There we go. Um, so those are, are the power settings that are by default. Now you can also click on additional power settings and you'll see some additional options here. We just have to wait for that to launch. There we go. Now this looks more like the settings that we used to see in Windows 7 and 8. So you can click on Balanced or Power Saver. And if you click on Change Plan Settings, you can see pretty much the same thing. Turn off display, uh, put the computer to sleep. Uh, and then you can click on Change Advanced Power Settings and <laughs> you'll see even more options. And this is a pretty comprehensive list of options right here. So you've got the hard disk. Uh, you can you know, change the maximum power level or turn off hard disk after time. Right now it's set to 20 minutes. Uh, you've got Internet Explorer. You've got JavaScript, desktop background settings, the slideshow when that turns on and off, wireless adapter. By default, it's going to be in power saving mode, but you may not want that to happen. You may want to keep the wireless on at all times. You can uh, change that any way you want. Uh, you've got sleep, sleep after by default, or two hours here, we changed that earlier. And then wake time, set that enable. You've got USB, will the USB suspend? And by default that is enabled. Power buttons, and when uh, if you have a, a laptop, what, uh, what happens if you shut the lid or press the power button? Uh, PCI Express, those are cards that are added to the computer. Uh, you've got processor power management, system cooling policy. So right now it's set to active. And just to give you an idea, you've got passive or active. Active will use obviously more power, uh, but be more efficient. And generally with the processor, you don't want to take any chances. So I would leave that to active. Uh, then you've got display, which is just the monitor itself. Turn off after, enable adaptive brightness, and turn that on. And uh, th that depends on if you have a tablet, because if you have a tablet, it'll automatically adjust to the light around you. But monitors tend not to do that unless you have a high-end one. Uh, multimedia settings, you can uh, change the power settings on that as well. So that's the power and sleep settings for Microsoft Windows 10.